In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the powerful mapping analysis tools of Microsoft Streets and Trips so that we can quickly find our best opportunities and plan trips that maximize our time in front of prospects. Now that you've got your territory plotted, you can see where your biggest concentrations of prospects are located by PVI range. If you've worked your territory for a while, you probably had an idea how this map would look. The difference is, now you know exactly where each and every prospect is located and have powerful tools at your disposal to quickly and efficiently target them. The first thing I want to do is zoom in to get a closer look at a portion of my territory. I'll take a look at the Boston area first. Make sure your select button is active. I can use the magnifying glass in the toolbar to zoom in, as well as click, hold, and drag with my select tool to define an area I want to zoom into. Clicking inside the box then executes the zoom. I want to get an idea of how many companies are in the Boston area. To do this, I click the name of the city with my select tool, and then go up to the Find Nearby Places button and click. In this case, I've clicked the city name, but you can click on any point on your map and do a Find Nearby search. The Find Nearby Places button automatically searches the last radius in memory. Type in your new desired radius and hit Search. Now Streets and Trips shows me all the places that are within 10 miles of Boston Center. Note at the top are my three prospect categories. I see 10 red top opportunities, 39 green smaller ones, and 22 blue mediums. If I want to see the names of those companies, I click on the plus sign to open the list beneath. Adjust the pane width to see the entire name by mousing over the panel boundary until you see parallel vertical lines. Then click, hold, and drag to the right. Remember that when we prepared our data for import, we inserted the extra prospect value indicator column, and then we gave it the name to position when we imported the list. Here's where that trick pays off. Notice that the PVI, again the number of trucks in our example here, is immediately to the right of the name. Now we not only know the class of this prospect at a glance, but even their specific potential value as well. Click once more on the prospect to highlight their position on the map. Double-click to open up their pushpin balloon. The companies are sorted by their distance, shown in parentheses, from the center of my search location. The closest being 1.6 miles, and the farthest in this particular search, a little over 8 miles. I also see that Streets and Trips presents many other points of interest for me to check out. In case the list is a little daunting, you can click the Show or Hide Places button, click the Uncheck All button, and then check only the restaurants you're likely to want to see when searching. Then click the Places tab and repeat. When you've chosen the places, click the OK button, and Streets and Trips will automatically update the Places Found pane. If you cover a large territory, one you may use a lot is hotels. Click the plus sign to see the hotel names and their distance from the center of your search location. Chances are you've got your favorites and want to make sure you get your membership points. So to search by name, Choose Sort Alphabetically. Hit the first letter of your hotel to drop down to that part of the list. Now it's easy to find your favorite hotel by name. Sometimes you'll want to know exactly how far you can drive in a given amount of time. Streets and Trips has a neat little feature called Create Drive Time Zone. 
It allows you to identify exactly how far you can drive from a central point based on your time constraints. Let's check it out. But first, we'll clean up our map by closing the Find Nearby Places pane and closing the push pin information box as we opened. To use Drive Time Zone, highlight the point around which you want to draw the zone with your Select Tool and right-click your mouse. Scroll to and click on Create Drive Time Zone. This is the Create Drive Time Zone dialog box. Choose your desired time and minutes to see how far you can drive from the central point in the designated time. You can draw the Drive Time Zone behind roads and can also fill the Drive Time Zone with a solid color. When you click OK, Streets and Trips will automatically generate routes on all roads radiating from your defined center. I now see the drive time zone marked in a blue line around my chosen central point that shows me everywhere I can drive within 30 minutes. I'll add a yellow fill color to make it easier to see. Now I can set appointments with assurance that I know the prospect is within my drive time window. To delete the zone, simply click on the line and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Since each of your pushpins has a name, you can use Find a Location on the Advanced Toolbar to search for a particular company. Let's say I'm looking for a MyPoint Trucking. I type the name in the search box and Streets and Trips will automatically identify my search as a place and locate it for me on the map. Now, as I mentioned earlier, whenever setting appointments with Microsoft Streets and Trips, you always want to confirm that you're traveling to the correct location. So when you set the appointment, confirm the address of your meeting, and it's a good idea to get the nearest cross street. Did you ever get to a prospect's address only to find that there's still a whole bunch of navigating still to go just to find out what part of the complex they're in? You can use Streets & Trips tight connection to Microsoft Windows Live Search Map Service and view an aerial photos library to nail down exactly where you're going, to include which side of the building to park on and which door to go through. Here's how it works. Remember, you need to be connected to the Internet. Let's type in an address into Streets & Trips for a new prospect that wasn't on our original list and click Find. These folks were a large opportunity, so I'll go ahead and update them to the correct PVI pushpin by right-clicking on the found address point, choosing properties, and then change their symbol to the 100 plus icon. To get an aerial view, first zoom in on your destination, then click on the Show in Live Search Maps button on the standard toolbar. Streets and Trips will go out to Microsoft's live search map site and return an aerial view of your chosen location at the same zoom level. If you're in a metropolitan area, you may have the option of choosing a bird's eye view. Now, when I'm talking to the prospect to set up a meeting, I can be looking at their facility while I'm talking with them. They've told me they're the red brick building on the north side of the road the one with a circular planting area in front of the building's entrance. The parking out front is for visitors, and if there's a spot, I can grab that. But if not, I'll have to take a drive around back to their parking garage, which will add several minutes to my trip up to their offices. So I know I'll need to add extra time to get to this account in case there's no spaces out front. I can zoom in, and even rotate the map for different viewpoints by clicking the directions button. Keep in mind that the aerial shots may be a few years old and if you're traveling to a rural area chances are you'll only get the straight aerial view for now. But either way the aerial maps can save you a lot of time even after you arrive at your prospects address. 
Not to mention how cool your mastery of technology will make you look in front of your potential customer. When operating in your territory, sometimes you need to know where stuff is. As we've seen, the Find Nearby Places button can show you a lot of attractions and services that are embedded into streets and trips. However, if what you're looking for isn't in Find Nearby Places, Streets and Trips makes it easy to use the internet to find what you need. Maybe you need an office supply store, a copy center, or want to bring your kids home that new stuffed toy that you can only get at that one store. Whatever it is, you can click on the Windows Live button, type in the subject, and search for what you're looking for right within Streets and Trips. Available location results are plotted right there on your map. Remember, you need an internet connection to search on Windows Live. Chances are, when you're in your trip planning stages, you'll be in an office environment with an internet connection. But the internet on the road can be a real productivity booster, and part of your planning should include having a good handle on where you can get internet access on the road. The most convenient way to access the internet is via a Wi-Fi connection. It's hard to buy a laptop today without wireless being included, so chances are you've got one. If not, check out the electronic stores for a notebook adapter on PC card or USB stick. They're low cost, reliable, and will really help you out on the road. While traveling, your hotel will typically be your Wi-Fi base of operations. There are several hotels that offer free Wi-Fi included in the rate. When first checking into your room, it's a good idea to do a quick check on your laptop's reception. That way you can ask for a room with better reception if needed. Of course, you can always head down to the lobby as well. Another great place for free Wi-Fi are the restaurants and sandwich shops that cater to the business crowd. You could research prospects, send quotes, answer email, and read your hometown newspaper while enjoying your favorite sandwich. So find out where these Wi-Fi oasises are in your territory before you travel. Use your Find Nearby Places button and sort alphabetically to find your favorites. If it's a new or growing chain, use the Search on Live Search button or go to that company's website. Chances are they've got a list of their locations posted. Copy the addresses paste them into the find a location box and plot them on your map. Free Wi-Fi is popping up in new spots every day and of course there are paid services available as well. Check out mypointsales.com for links to websites that list Wi-Fi service availability around the country and even show whether it's paid or free. In this lesson we learned how to analyze our territory using Microsoft Streets and Trips map tools. We searched for prospects using the Find Nearby Places button. We quickly identified their PVI range and saw the specific prospect value listed next to their name. We learned to search around a point and along a route, sorting results by distances as well as alphabetically. We used Create Drive Time Zone to show exactly how far we can drive in a specified amount of time. We learned how to use Microsoft Windows Live Search Maps to make it easier to pinpoint a prospect's location. And use the Windows Live Search button to search the internet for services not listed on the map. Finally, we looked at plotting other important services in our territory, such as Wi-Fi service locations. In the next lesson, we'll use our Streets and Trips mapping skills to plan a highly productive sales trip.